kwanza ni sema uh, watu huenda ikuwe wananishuku lakini mimi mwenyewe sijishuku manake mimi siyeziwa na siku husika kwa kumuua Jeff manake Jeff alikuwa rafiki yangu na sioni sababu yangu mimi ningemuua kwa nini na ni kijana mdogo pia mwenye hana ubaya na mtu yeyote so uh, naanza toka kwenye uh, siku ilifika Jeff hapo mwaka wa 2020 2021 Uh, nilikuwa one year in the industry ya kuimba mugidi sasa mm-hmm. nilikuwa time nimepick zaidi uh, alikuwa na shop pale mahali panaitwa Jifiche Grill mm-hmm. uh, kuna kuna shop inakwanga hapo kando ya viatu so mimi napenda napenda mambo na fashion sana so nilienda hapo kununuanga viatu na nilikuwa napata msichana alikuwa anaitwa Faith Mutano Faith yeye ndo mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff. Mimi nikinunua viatu hapo siku jo hapo ni kwa Jeff. Mimi nilijua naenda kununua kwa Faith juu kila wakati mimi nampata Faith. Hapo nimenunua viatu mingi, viatu zimezidi hata la uh, teme karibu laki moja manake mimi nilikuwa nanunua kila wakati. Sasa siku moja uh, nikashtukia kijana amekuja. Jeff alikuwa kijana mdogo sana mm-hmm. uh, amekuja ameingia amenipata hapo e, niki bargain ama nikichukua kiatu akafurahi sana kanambi DJ Fatso e, nimefurahi sana unani promoting na ambi yango sasa unaona ameleta angle nyingine unani promoting um, like AJ na sikujui so akaniambia e, hapa ni kwangu mimi ndo nakuwa nimecharafe hii kazi nasikia so hapo ndo penye mimi nikajilia hivyo haya kando na hivyo siku acha kuwa customer pale hiyo siku yenye ya kwanza tu yangu kwenda hapo alipiga picha na mimi kuna picha ilikuwa ina circulate nikiwa nimeshika kiatu na yeye akapiga picha na mimi ni kawaida ya mashabiki kupiga picha na sisi haya so mimi siku kata akapiga picha na mimi na hapo hapo akaniambia uh, by the way Samido ni yanko yangu uh, Samido ni mwanamuziki mwenye tunaimba naye anajulikana yes so uh, akaniambia Samido ni yanko yangu na mnaimbanga na yeye mwingine unasikia mm-hmm. haya mimi nika nikatupilia mbali juu okay siku ana tutaongea nini nyingine tushaongea amepiga picha amerifika ni hivyo basi okay. haya kilichofuata i think alinipata tena mara nyingine Tasem ilikuwa trend yake. Akiniona uh, hata ikoni wewe masawe uko uko na shop ama uko na duka lako na mimi nikuje kununua na niko na jina utapiga picha na mimi kila wakati ili upost uoneshane shop yako inakuja watu wenye pia wenye ili uweze kuvutia customers wengine. Kanipata. Ha okay. uh, so uh, when alinipata siku nyingine akaniambia uh, by the way fatso ukiwa itaka kuweka shop yote ya, vi, ya viatu hii ni mimi nime design nisikia mm-hmm. hii ni mimi nimedesign unaweza nipea kazi na unaona venye kako simple and i really loved it juu ilikuwa inaka vizuri haya tukanyamaziana na Jeff in fact i didn't have Jeff's number sikuwa na namba ya Jeff namba ya Jeff nimehitaji sasa 20 tuko 2023 ya nimehitaji 2023 why? January why mwanake uh, kuna kitu umesikia aliniambia ukiwahi taka kuweka shop Uh, utaniambia nikutengeneze mm-hmm. mimi mimi naweza unda je mimi nilijitengeneze hapa sasa uh, Mungu amenibariki amenipea pesa kidogo nimeona naweza anzisha kabiashara ili at least niko na DJ school pale hivyo uh, Zita University mm-hmm. uh, so i wanted to move the DJ school because it was not doing well hapo nje Zita University hapo panahitaji nikaona panahitaji juu wanafunzi wanapita wengi sana panahitaji ni yake kitu ina move ni yake viatu na ni yake maybe dresses za wasichana mm. nayo kuna mahali nilikuwa nishapata hall kubwa sana hapo mahali panaitoka Marquis Bypass karibu na Green Spot Gardens nimepata hall hata saa hizi iko ni yangu uh, it's a very big hall so i wanted to move the DJ school itoke pale Zita University nipeleke pale hivyo ikue music school sasa office yangu ikue hapo na niweke studio na hivyo niendelee sasa the only person i had in mind uh, allow me say this masawe if you've never had an idea of owning a joint or else a shop si expect utakuwa na joint interior designers wengi so akili yangu ilifikiria nani Jeff tu manake hata ile shop yenye nataka kuweka pale ya nguo ya, ya nguo na viatu nikakumbuka yeye yeah, alikuwa amenembea naweza fanya hivyo so i decided that i'll engage him so whom did i ask for the number ya Jeff 
nilipigia faith motani yule tu mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff uh, kitambo kumbe kulienda hivi na hivi uh, Jeff shope akikaanguka kumbuka ile wakati 2020s ni wakati covid imeingia 2021 so alifunga shop so after amefunga sasa faith ndo mwenye ni faith aliendelea na kuuza viatu in fact Jeff after amefunga biashara zake uh, nilikuja kujua baadaye sasa baada hizi vitu zote alifunga akaambiwa arudi shule so even about this thing yenye imekuwa ikiendelea uh, sasa anaitanishwa na the interior designer okay so mlipatana mkaanza kuwa marafiki alikufanyia kazi kipindi hichi hakunifanyia kazi okay hakunifanyia kazi so hakuwahi kukutengenezea duka lako no okay so baada hapo urafiki wenu ulikuwa karibu ah uh, hapana okay au kwa urafiki wa karibu urafiki wetu ulikuwa urafiki wa tukipatana wapi nikienda kununua viatu kwake toka 2021 akina show you kutoka 2021 toka ninunue viatu kwake toka afunge sababu ilifika time akafunga mm-hmm. the person who been selling shoes to me is fed motani okay so jeff alikuja je kwa nyumba yako ah uh, sasa hapo ndo mzungumziali hapo ndo tunaelekea hatuko okay. tunaongea sasa january mm-hmm. ndio hii january imefika mimi nataka kuweka shop nimeitisha fed namba ya jeff amenipatia namba ya jeff Nimeongea na Jeff nimemwambia kuna shop na ngoja zitengeneze zina renovatiwa uh, acha zikimalizika nitakwambia ndio kuje nitengeneze. Unanisikia? Haya, but unaona already anajua anajua ile DJ school yangu ya ya Ruiru hiyo anajua. Mm. Haya, so what happened is ikafika siku it was on Tuesday. Mimi nimeenda kuangalia mahali niko na ka, na shares kidogo za Wines and Spirit Ruiru. Uh, kwenda kuangalia na post kuna ka, kuna kafani meme kalikuwa kana kana trend ka kijana a, a very small boy analia then anacheka maybe umepiti yeah. umepatana nayo mm. nikaiweka kwa status yangu after nimeweka kwa status sasa hiyo ni kitu saa nane na dakika maybe thati hivyo niko hapo rilu hapo penye nimekombe kwa hiyo lika lika store nimeenda kuangalia penye nitamsha kazi manake kuja kuwa na kazi haileti pesa mm-hmm. sasa niko hapo ni, niko na jamaa anaitwa Kenodia Kenodia is a manager to a certain artist tunaimba naye anaitwa Kamoko so after i posted that thing uh, i am not the one who engaged Jeff si mimi niliongelesha Jeff Jeff alichekea nini? Alicheka kwa ile status yangu venye tunaekanga status. So, he is the one mwenye li, alicheka. So mimi hata simi mwenye nilimtafuta. So after amecheka kwa ile status yangu, ikaniring kwa akili yangu, by the way jana nililipa ile nyumba juu imemalizika, ile nyumba pale for green spot, ile yenye na comment ngo nipeleke music school. Nililipa, I think na is engage ukijana Joel aliniambia. So kwa text after nilichukua namba yake kwa figmo tano there is a text yenye inaonyeshana ati nilihama Roisambo sikuizi niko Kimbo so ukitaka tupatane please niambie mapema ili ni ili nikuje ili niweze kutoka Kimbo nikuje uh-huh. haya sasa nikajua mimi niko Ruiru si ndio hapa ni Kimbo Jeff ako Kimbo Ruiru na Kimbo ni karibu sana so venye alicheka kwa status yangu nikakumbuka nililipa shop jana nikamwambia hata si kucheka nilimuulize eh hey bro uko ili akuje sasa tuzungumze sasa biashara akakuja after amekuja alikuja in like call it 30 30 minutes hivyo ah uh, mimi na mimi niko hapa naongea na kuja mbona jamani event organizer wa outdoor event huko Kenodia mwenye nimekwambia sasa tuko na yeye hapa uh, sababu nataka hiyo hiyo wind and spirit kwa mahali rooftop nataka aniamshie nataka nipate strategies za mimi tutainua so Jeff akafika akatupata mimi na Kenodia alitupata mimi tunakunya that is the first club nataka nikupeleke through kwa hizo club nne zenye inasemekana anga Jeff amekuja amenipata na kunywa maji na na kunywa Red Bull Kenodia na kunywa maji na na kunywa soda Jeff akakuja akaitisha soda after amefika hivi Unaona sasa bado naendelea na conversation na nani na Kenodia. Ju sijamaliza so siezi engage kwa hii ingine kwanza na huyu nimemuita akuje ndio tuongelee biashara yangu ya hapa. Tukia tu hapo. Nikapigiwa simu na jamaa anaitwa Adam Opao. Adam Opao is one of the uh, maybe a PA to Churchill live yeah. Uh, akaniambia we're so tunataka kukubuk show uh, hapa Shaki Gardens ya Ruiru 
eh, chachi linakuja kuleta show hapo. Nikamwambia anataka tuongee bei sasa na everything kwa simu. Kaambia haina haja tufanye hivyo, acha nikuje jumii niko ruiru pia. So, tukatoka na hawa, nikaambia by the way, Junona natafuta pesa za kuweka hii easy shop zote lazima kwanza nikimbie nichukue hii pesa. Unanipata masaa. Mm. So, nika nikamal ikabidi nitamatishe hii mkutano yangu na Kenodia na mkutano yangu na Jeff twende kwa gari i drive them Kenodia in front Jeff behind unanipata okay. tukaenda Ashaki Gardens so one nataka uelewe hakuna kitu yote yenye tumeongea na Jeff so far toka afike mimi nilikuwa naongea na Kenodia mm. after amefika dakika kama kumi, hata mm. maji nakumbuka ilibidi tumebeba na Red Bull yangu hata sikumaliza mm. ilibidi nimebeba sababu nimeitwa na ninataka pesa sana I want to make that money juu kuna biashara nafani ifungue na najuzi itanikula pesa mingi. Ndiyo sisi tukaenda Shaki Gardens. Really. Nikambia Jeff after tumefika hapo. We Jeff, juna ile shop ya Zitek ile DJ school. Omba karatasi na pen kwa waitress. Kaa pale kwa pila andikanga ni nini zenye zinahitajika materials zenye zinahitajika ndo tununue nini? Tununue tujenge hiyo shop. Juu hiyo anaijua ile ingine haijui ile ya green spot hiyo ndio yenye nilifaa kumpeleka ione sasa haya akabaki hapo then nikamwambia Kenodia this guy mwenye nimekwambia ni bento kana hizo ni manager wa Kamoko you now acting as my manager ju manager wangu hayuko karibu ili twende tuweze kuitisha pesa mingi wapi hapa so yeye yeah, tuli proceed na yeye kwa mkutano tukaacha Jeff wapi hapo ah uh, nika strike hiyo deal na nikapewa hiyo show uh, na dakika kama 45 ama 1 hour ikienda sana hapo Saizi kama tunavizungumza nataka uone ni kitu 4 4:30 hapo hivyo. Haya, nilikuwa natoka, nilikuwa nafaa kupatana na mtu anaitwa Waidakawa Jeni. He is a Mogidi artist, tunaimba na yeye. I was supposed to meet him because we had a show in Narok, me and him, a joint show, na ni sisi tunajilipishia. So, we had to meet and do a promo for the show ndio tuweze kupata traction ya watu. Where were we supposed to meet? Alifani Pate Blizz Bistro. But sasa nimeitwa Ashaki niende nika strike deal na nikaenda. So yeye akaniambia kwa Tatu City. We are talking about hizo sides za Dika Road sasa. So akaniambia tupatane jioni kwa Tatu City, tupatane mahali panaitwa Destiny Gardens. Destiny Gardens ni mahali kwa watoto kwa kucheza, but kuna club pia. Hapo ndiyo club ya tatu inakuja. Unaiona juni ya kwanza yenye nilikuwa Blitz Bistro, Ashaki, then kuna Destiny Gardens. Kwa hizi zote nataka uelewe vizuri. Hakuna mahali popote penye nimekunywa. Mimi si mimi mimi kunywa pombe. But si kunywa pombe mchana. Pombe ni ni kitu yenyewe naweza sema unakunywa ku socialize na watu. Na kazi zetu mingi tumezipatanga kwa pombe. Maana yake si kuingia walevi mara nyingi. Wanipata. So, this is the third joint yenye tumeenda Destiny Gardens. Hakuna mtoto amekunywa pombe. Hata hapo all of them can attest niliitisha maji. Ashaki tukifika nilikunya maji. Tukienda Destiny Gardens nikaitisha maji. Jeff akaitisha soda, Kenodi akaitisha maji. Wanisikia? Tuka record ile promo yetu and then tuka proceed. Sasa hii masaa nataka uone Masai Shah Songa. Masawe. Kweli? Kweli. Na bado mimi na Jeff hatujaongea kitu yoyote yenye ilituleta pamoja. Fast forward. Mhm. But Asha andika zile vitu tukaenda tukafika mahali pa naitwa Ruisambu hapo naenda kuchukua delivery nilikuwa nachukua but Jeff was insisting yule msichana mwenye ali to connect na yeye mwenye alifanya ni mjue Jeff huyu faith mutano sasa wanisikia mm. alikuwa ana insist anataka sana faith kuwe na sisi eh, ili kae ni shukrani kae ikae ha ha piti chini na ni ali connect kwa hii kazi na mimi mm. wanipata mm. so he kept on calling faith and i was like okay just call her it's okay acha akuje unaona mimi sina sina ubaya na yeye kuita mutani and then all along what i want to know is that jeff was recording a uh, voice notes but before he started doing that hakuanza na video alianza na voice notes ah uh, akaniambia nitakuwa na update mama ya penye tunaenda and I was like it's okay so nasikia ameambia mom eh hey, mom sasa tumetoka na fatso hapa hivi Ashaki Gardens kuna show alikuwa anapewa hapo hivi ya Churchill sasa tumekuwa na master wengine hapo wa Mogidi he was a very happy guy a happy soul mm. unaniona uh, so i'm going to tell you this sisi tutaka wakati wa fikiria ndio ile siku ikaja ikapelekea kifo chake ndio hiyo 
Okay. Siku. Sasa. Okay. He didn't even get to do this job. He had not done any job for me. Okay. Aya. Can I Tobin. continue the story? Yes, it is because, because uh if I miss anything here, uh naona aita kwa venye inafa. Mm. So ndio mimi huyu. Jeff alikuwa na update mamake kuhusu kila mahali penye tunaenda. So I even felt I felt so good kuona sijai patana na mtu mwingine mwenye anakaa mimi. Mimi na mamangu tuko hivi sababu mimi nimezaliwa peke yangu. Mamangu hata nikiamka kila wakati. Haya mimi hata nikiwa show nikianza show na anajua vizuri na anzanga show saa sita usiku uh, utashtukia mamangu ananipigia hata nikiwa stage. This is my peer. Utashtukia anakuja ananionyesha mama anapiga, anaenda anachukua na mwambia bado hajamaliza show. I am very close na mamangu. Sasa venye niliona kijana mwenye pia ako ako close na mamake hivyo uh, ili nifanya nione Ah, uh, nili nilipata passion na yeye. Unapata passion na mtu juu hata yako close na mamake ana update kila move. Sasa tumepita Roy Sambu. Faid Mutano alikuwa amesema atakuwa Roy Sambu by saa moja. Haku amefika. Sasa giza isha anza kuingia. Unanisikia? Ah, uh, haku amefika. Tukamwambia uh, pole. Tukamwambia wewe uta uta utatupata kwa shop hapo penye tunaenda naenda kuonyesha Jeff shop sasa tutapata hapo manake hatutashinda hapa tumekungoja ndio sisi hawa tukachukua njia tukienda wapi tukienda Ruiru sasa tumetoka Ruisambu Faith anaishi Ruisambu hapo karibu na Park University ah tukaenda Ruiru sasa tukienda Ruiru ah kuna huyu madam wa US alikuwa anakuja Kenya anaitwa Sue Kashambi she is popular for her job mm-hmm. she was coming to Kenya na alikuwa ameniambia fatso Eh so ni organize shows kama tatu hivyo tuone kama tutatengeneza pesa. So I was supposed to meet with a guy the owner of whiskey, one of the owners of Whiskey River. His name is Douglas Ndego. I was supposed to meet with him yeah. Ndiyo juu ni event organizer. Ndiyo tupange shows za nani za Suga Shambi. So when I was making the call to Douglas Ndego, Jeff Hart of course, eh Dagi akaniambia uh, niko hapa Lika store hapa kwa jemu hapo ni Rejoice karibu na opposite theater mall niko hapo hivyo eh utanipata hapa mimi hata ni Henes na kunywa yeye nikamwambia Henes na mimi ndio nimekavia kunywa pombe si wacha nitakuja tupige sherehe unanisikia so Jeff had me talk to Douglas kwa simu so the next thing all along Jeff was so happy and ananiambia aki mimi hata naweza taka kushindanga na wewe naweza taka kukaanga na wewe hii maisha yako yani and I really understood him because I was once there when I had known him hata mimi nilikuwa na hang on nilikuwa napenda celebrities sana so this guy na yeye naona kuna ile passion na mimi na ana enjoy hata company yangu so hakuna venye ningemkataza akani beg please acha twende na wewe hiyo sherehe yenu naenda after tumetoka show tumetoka kuona shop akaniambia by the way to Peter pale ivo wa Cairo wa Cairo ni ile KU the branch achana na main campus ile kiu ingine niko pale kabla kimbo kana ndio tupite hapo hata nichukue nichukue demu yangu fulani unanisikia nikamwambia it's okay sawa tukaenda tukaingilia kimbo tukasimama hapo wakairu akachukua msichana fulani wakaka na nyuma unaona mimi niko na kenodhia wapi niko na kenodhia hapa then tukakuja tukaingilia riru tukaenda green spot Ah uh, tukapata yule kiataka hiyo nyumba ni kutoka anatoka nikamwambia huyu stoke eh, nimekuja na interior designer wa hii shop na shop zingine zangu so si umfungulie tu ndo waone ndo ajue ni nini na nini inahitajika kesho tushinde tukinunua materials ndio tuanze kujenga wanisikia haya tukaona na tuka view hiyo mahali kisha tukatoka sasa tukitoka tunarudi ili twende eh, Rejoice nipatane na Douglas ndo tuongee ile biashara yenye tunaongea nikikunywanga ile Hennessy yenye ameniambia anakunywa. Wanisikia masani. So what I did is uh nikaenda uh Risambo is where we picked Faith Mutano. Asha toka town kufanya delivery zake and everything. So after walifunga shop na Jeff, yeye ananunuanga viatu kama kunji, anafanya deliveries kila mahali. Nanisikia? Haya. Tukamchukua sasa kaingia hapo nyuma so ikakuwa ni Jeff yule dem yake na Faith wako wapi wako hapo nyuma tukaenda Lika Store Rejoice kufika Lika Store 
hapo ndo pini nili onja pombe the first time eh, kwa kwa hiyo siku ilikuwa around ilikuwa around uh, call it 8:30 or 9 kitu kama hiyo kama naweza kumbuka vizuri haya tukaona hapa hivi after tumeka sasa after tumefika mimi nimeenda kaa nimekaa kwenye dagi yako Jeff in fact meza ilivutwa ingine juu tumeingia tukiwa group kubwa ya watu tano so imebidi meza ivutwe ndio tuweze kutoshare group ya watu tano na maanisha mimi Kenobi hapa mbele Fred Mutano nyuma Jeff na msichana wanisikia so the sitting arrangement was like mimi nimekaa hapa Fred alikaa hapa na, na Douglas Douglas ako hapo mwenye nimeenda kuona uh, kuna jamaa anaitwa James Wong huyo ni mwenye hiyo ni Castro na sasa hao wengine hii meza ilivuta Jeff alikaa hata hapa pale alikaa pale wakakaa na Kenodia the girlfriend hapa na jamaa kwa kando yangu anaitwa Karis hapa so ikafika time tukaambiana eh tunafaa twende tuka support DJ Mo DJ Mo huyu wa Red twende tuka support kwiba manake eh, Hennessy hapa hapa zimeisha unasikia uh-huh. Hennessy zimeisha hapa hivi uh, tukaambia na twende kwiba so tukienda kwiba this is a bit yenye nataka uisikie vizuri sana tukienda kwiba uh, tukaingia kwa gari yango i was the one who was driving yule msichana mwenye tulichukua kwa Cairo kwa university mwenye Jeff alikuwa anasema ni msichana wake alibebwa na mwanaume mwingine tofauti kwenye nilikuwa nimekaa sasa ngapi sasa hiyo sasa hiyo ni kitu saa saa tano inaelekea uh-huh. saa nne na madakika huko uh-huh. 40 okay. saa tano inaelekea uh-huh. Kim there, there was a guy not Kim Karis is the guy who sitting right next to me then just just girlfriend uh, then Jeff then Kenobi there so huyu jamaa alikuwa kando yangu uh, sijui ama ni mchezo ama ilikuwa ushazungumza unaona mimi siko nawapatia na attention juu attention yangu iko kwa Douglas yeye ndio mwenye nimekuja kuona na kwanza tuongee kile tunaongea sasa mm-hmm. what happened is Karisa aliambia alisema mm-hmm. eh, we acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari nini mm-hmm. acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari kidogo kidogo we ingia we ingia tukubebe unanisikia mm-hmm. so ingia ni kubebe so demwa Jeff alibebwa na gari ya Karisa tukienda kuiva na nipata. Uh-huh. So mimi tumeenda kwa gari yangu mimi tena dia mbele Faith Mutano nyuma na Jeff. Uh-huh. But now the girlfriend amebeba na gari nyingine hapa Prado. Wanipata. Uh-huh. Tukafika Kuiva saa tunaelekea Kuiva. Saa tushambia na tunaenda shereni kambi ya Faith. Huyo Faith jo alikuwa anasema kuna kazi nzuri yako kwa nyumba. Aina haja hata wakae kwa nyumba na tumeenda sherehe nyingine si watoke tu wakuja watu join. We just have fun together akawapigia simu. So tulipofika Kiva, Faith hata hakuingia na sisi. Alibaki kwa gari, gari yangu, ndio cousin zake wenye wanakuja wamlete nguo. Wasichana basa da, basa trend wasichana wako na outfits zenye wanaweza vaa wakienda sherehe na kuna zenye wanaweza vaa wakishinda wakifanya kazi zao. Wanipata. So what happened? Tukaingia, tumeingia mimi, Kenodia na Jeff. So tumeacha Faith ndongo je kazi wake wawili alafu Karis na ye gari zilifuatana zote Karis na ye amekuja na nani na yule girlfriend ya nani ya Jeff tukaingia na tukakaa kukaa chini hata kumaliza dakika kama kama tatu Karis washafika na nani na umsichana umsichana wa Jeff so wakakaa msichana hapo kana Karis alikaa alirudi kukaa na Jeff hapo hivyo haya then Faith na wakaingia so Jeff hawakuwa na hawakuwa na ongeleshana na huyu msichana hawakuwa in good terms yeah? na ikafika time Jeff akani text tuko kwa meza akani text akaniandikia hey bro uh, unaweza ni save na 200 ama 500 sina pesa ina anisikia okay. nika na akanitumia till number hapo chini mara mingi hizi ni vitu pia sisi tumepitia wakati mwingi eh, mwingine unapata uh, tulikuwa tunatumia till numbers juu hizo atakuwa nafuliza inaweza fanya nini eh, utatoa pesa yako kama unataka kutoa so 
akaniambia nimweke kwa till number so alinyomba 200 ama 500 nili mtumia kwa till number that was hiyo niliangalianga kwa simu it was 1134 akiniambia hivyo nikamtumia 500 shillings and it's only that aliniambia niweke kwa till number uh, i'm sorry to say this uh, sina marafiki wenye wanaweza niomba pesa hiyo kiwango 200 shillings 500 shillings because i am not even used to going out with the age ya kina Jeff mimi naendanga na watu napata kwa hiyo meza there are 40s and 50s kwa hiyo meza mimi tu ndo nimesota kabisa nimekamina i am nimetan 27 april 25 so napenda kuji challenge na vitu mingi so hiyo day hata nilimhurumia sana hata hata nikumtumia 200 nilimtumia ikiwa 500 So after nimemtumia haikumaliza dakika kama sijui ngapi msichana yule mwenye alikuwa amebeba na karisi na wamekaa na yeye bataongei mm. akakuja tena ni haga na niambia fatu mimi naenda home and scare so namuliza mbona unaenda home akina ndo sherehe inaanza you know saa hiyo sasa Hennessy shakuja we yani tunaendelea na sherehe sasa mimi hapa nimekaa hapa nimekaa na mwenye kuiba hapa na wazai wengine hapo Unanipata haya na Douglas bado wako hapa na mimi. So tu, tulitoka sisi wote tuliambia na tutoke sisi wote pale mm-hmm. nika. So um msichana ameniambia nataka kwenda home. Na ni kunihaga mnihaga. Kama mimi hata sijiji na yake in fact. Because if I if, even if if I knew her name hata ninge provide hiyo jina hata kwa DC. I don't know her name because I was not interested. Ni huyu ni msichana wa rafiki yangu so let them have their fun. I have my own fun. So what happened? Nikamwambia it's okay if you have to go na una insist unasema kabi kwa hapa nje sawa basi enda so i thought ile pesa yenye sasa sando nikafikiria hiyo pesa maybe ni ya kulipia msichana nini kaba kienda nyumbani so the night continued the party continued mimi naendelea mimi hata akili yangu haiko huko siangali hata sina shughuli na to be very honest sikuwa na shughuli na hawa mimi niko na shughuli na hawa sasa juu hawa ndo unipatia kazi. Uh-huh. Hawa kina kimani kuiva in the rest. Now nikaona ile nsi venye inateremka he inakaa tutalewa sana. Juu naona tulikuwa tumekunywa kunywa nyingine na pale. So what I did is I called my driver. I told him uh, kuja kuiva ili unipeleke nyumbani mataime yake juu naona venye tunakunywa hapo hivi sipendi ku drive nikiwa mlevi mara nyingi but see at nishai drive nikiwa mlevi kitu yote ina ni happenia but ni ile tu you just cautious so my driver came but sasa alikuja na kazini yangu na ali take time sana before afike alikuja kitu around <clears> twoish <throat> huko na akakuja na kazini yangu but he knew very well sitamuuliza juu kukuja na kazini yangu ju it's normal for them to stay in my house all the time we always have So nation and deliver up. No 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 no. Okay. Most of the times utashtukia wako kwangu. One, I want to explain the reason as to why iko hivyo. My driver tulikuwa tunasoma na high school. Ni wa kwetu place inaitwa engineer Kinango. Mhm. Uh-huh. So one thing huyu ni mtu mwenye alinikujia maisha kiume mchapa sana. So mtu ikifika extent anakuambia mimi hata chakula sina masawe na ni mtu tulisoma na yeye mimi niko ina position ya kumsaidia so nikimpatia kazi akaniambia mimi niko naendesha Uber but mambo ili ilienda vibani kaje okay i can just make him a driver hata niko nimekaa na like three months toka nimpatie kazi haya so huyo mtu ni mtu niko very sure hata kwake bado haja settle sana kuna wakati after nimemlipa sitaki kujua ataenda kukula nini juu nishamlipa. Lakini sasa kuna wakati mwingine unashtukia bado hata after umemlipa eh hey bro uko wapi uko kwa nyumba nikuje. Like a brother it's okay just come. Then talk of my cousin. Kazi yangu hata siko nimemaliza na yeye mwezi mmoja. Nilienda nyumbani kulikuwa na kazi stay. Eh kwetu engineer. Uh-huh. Sasa huyu kijana akakuja na gita akakuja akaniambia alituma mamangu kwanza akaniambia mamangu <coughs> si wote tu wote tu na fatso uh-huh. alipe kazi mimi naweza kuwa katendraiser wake 
Unani katindriza na imba mbele kabla mimi sasa nunge ni imbe. So, yeye pia ni mimi ndo mwenye ni memtoa kwa ni nyahururu. Mindo ni memtoa uko kwa mashambani ni kamleta na irobi ya kuja fanyo yu kaji ya nataka ya katin raising. So, our watu have embraced them like my brothers. So, most of the time, ju mimi unapata mimi niko peke yangu kwa nyumba. Most of the times, niko na wao. So, wakati mwingine niko na huu kazini yangu sana sana, ju na ananifunza akodes fulani za gita na mimi na mfunza kucheza akodes. Ya? Yeah? Sasa, kukuja kwangu haikuwa ni shida. So venye driver wangu alikuja na kazini yangu, alijua sitamuuliza na ni kweli sikumuuliza. But sasa nilimwambia ujue, siji mtaenda aje nyumbani, jua ready sisi kwa meza tuko mimi, Jeff, Faith Mutalu na kazini wake wangapi? Wawili. So already gari imejaa. So nikamwambia ungekuwa peke yako hata tungeshikana, basi hili mko wawili. So hiyo hata nikaachia hapo. Nasikia masawe. Sasa time ikafika ni time ya kwenda nyumbani. Mi usiku nililala nikicheza pool sana, nacheza pool na rudi kwa meza. Wao hadi sasa wao walikula na wakakunya walikula kuku na wakakunya. So I cleared the bill at around call it 3 something, yeah. And then uh feed like I told you. Feed and I share with some. Anaishi mahali panaitwa Park University. Park University na kwangu is like 2 minutes or 3 minutes drive. So I told them I'll drive you home. Of course inaeleweka ju tunaenda njia moja ukiingilia safari park so it is for me to drop them and then yeah. get back kwa nyumba mm -hmm. now about jeff jeff we were supposed to wake up the following day like i told you from the word go we were supposed to wake up twende tukanunue vitu so what we had agreed with him in between those party modes aliamka akakuja penye niko he himself akakuja penye niko he told me that kwa masikio yangu so bro i think mimi hata kosa kushuka mtaa na kaa nitashuka nitashuka late ah uh, ju tuko na kazi yetu na raukia so me i insisted on mimi naona mimi ni shaita driver ni mita driver je ni ni safety so for me ni, ni, mimi hata sikumwambia but for me i knew i'll go with him kwa nyumba ye alale ndo turauke ju mimi sisi taka you see ukienda na mtu kwa kwa masawe inamaanisha You caring, ni mgeni wako. I'm, I'm caring because the reason I called the driver wangu wa nibebe ni sababu mimi mwenyewe na hofia kufanya nini na hofia kupata kiti yote kwa barabara. Yeye na yeye nitamwachiliaje na anaenda Kimbo like I told you. Mm. Anaenda Kimbo. Wacha nikatize kidogo. Kuna yes. simbe hapo unaingia kutoka kwa Aida Mwangi anasema for two stories ajaba. Your cousin was live the same day kissing some boys. Oh god, that's not my cousin. Si wa mtoe na wamlete hapa. That's not my cousin. Uh -huh. Yes. It's not my cousin. Okay. Uh, the boy has practiced the story well. Zile lika stores imejaa kiambu. Hakuna moja kuna Hennessy. Ti hakuna moja kuna Hennessy. Okay. Ni, 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 ni wasilizaji. Yes. Okay. So, first forward kwa sababu ya mda. Tumefika nyumbani. Sawa. Yes. Uh, Inamana kwa mba uh, Jeff alilala kwa kwa nyumba. Sasa ndo hapa tunaelekea uh -huh. ni cruise. Uh -huh. Tukaenda kwa nyumba, but sasa tukienda elewa nilikuwa niende ni drop fail mutano uh -huh. na ni drop hawa wasichana wengine, ndo sasa tuendelee kwa nyumba hivi kazi yangu na driver wangu watufuate na Uber, juu wao pia walikuwa nasema wakwanja wenye walikula ni hawa. Kazi yangu na driver wakikuja walikaa meza kando. So hawa kukula. Wakati waliniambia nataka kula, kuiva nikawaambia hamta kula, tuendeni hata mimi sikukula nitakula kwa nyumba nalipata sasa tukienda nikamwambia feed mutano like i told you feed was doing deliveries for me za viatu nikamwambia ju nimehamia mahali pengine penye hata hujui na wewe unashinda kunitafuta kwa mikutano zangu kama ni kwa mkutano mahali feed anakuja kuniletea viatu na vitu so nikamwambia twende nikuonyeshe mahali kwa gate penye utakuwa unaachia soja sana na usiku si ni kitu saa hata si saa nane hiyo ni past mm. ni saa tisa na madakika 3 am why 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 kwenda kumuonyesha yeah because that's the only chance you already drunk because that's the only chance yenye nimepata ya kuweka na fee mimi sije kunywa meza moja na fee sije atujai patana kwa avenue za nje ya biashara akiniletea delivery na mara mingi kuna wakati hata nakanga na delivery zangu over over four four days inamaliza hata one week na ni kitu maybe nilikuwa nahitaji jumi nimeenda meetings nimeenda hivi mara na nipige niko Kiamburu niko Mombasa road so i knew that was the right time yangu kufanya hivyo 
Okay. So we went to the gate. Na nikamuonyesha. Baada ya kumuonyesha, kuna kazi yake ilikuwa hapo akasema anataka kwenda washroom. Na nipata. Na mimi nikamwambia ni sawa hata tunaweza ingia tukipiga double then to talk and yende ni wa drop. Wanisikia? Why did you call your driver? I called him to ask for him to drive me home. So why are you driving yourself? Because he came with my cousin and we couldn't have fit in the car as seven people. Okay. So I told them to come to take an Uber mm-hmm. and follow us. Okay? That's the reason. Mm-hmm. So we proceeded to the house. Okay. So uh, cousin amenda kwa bathroom baada ya bathroom kapiga shot. Nani amenda kwa bathroom? Ya mtano. Cousin ya mtano was pressed. Yes. Akasi, so si tumepanda tumeingia kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Sasa after tumeingia kwa nyumba ndio mimi huyu nikauliza mnataka nini kazi namenda kwa washroom there is a video that was circulating yenye Jeff had record hiyo video ta record Jeff hakuna kitu alikuwa anafanya bila kuniambia aliniambia acha ni record niambie mam tumefika tuko kwako he recorded that na mimi nilikuwa kwa simu na mtu mwingine nikimuelezea njia ya place alikuwa anaenda na nikimwambia venye ata access sasa naona ndio unaonaka kwa hiyo video unaona wasichana wangapi wawili na kuna msichana mmoja walikuwa watatu so kuna msichana mmoja mwenye hayuko sasa tumeingia wao wakasema wanataka maji nikawapa maji huyu kazi mmoja wa wa faith akasema aka, aliona shisha bom kwa nyumba akasema hii uko na bom mimi napenda kuasha shisha sana akaenda akaanza kuasha nini shisha mimi na mimi nikachukua gitaa tukaanza kucheza muziki tunaimba sasa hiyo ni unaona nikaa sherehe inaendelea masawe uh-huh dakika kidogo kazi yangu na driver wangu akakuwa shafika na wakaingia kwa nyumba baada ya kufika kazi yangu cheza gitaa like i told you kuna wakati he is actually perfect in guitar than i am so nikampatia gitaa wewe cheza sasa hawa baada ya kuwapa maji jefe alisema anataka anataka hapendi whisky that is the word yenye alitumia i didn't expect him akwe maybe anaweza differentiate cognac na whisky akasema mimi sipendi whisky na naona uko na jina hapo nipatie jina kulikuwa na tankari ijafunguliwa na kuna tonic ni mgeni wangu ya ameitisha mimi ukija kwangu na kuuliza unataka nini sikulazimishi wasichana walisema wanataka maji nikawapa kila mtu glasi ya maji kijana akasema anataka jina nikampatia jina tankari yenye ijafunguliwa na nikampatia tonic then nikamwambia ah juni kwangu wewe tutatos na wewe mimi sitakunywa maji na wengi akaeka nikakunywa na yeye akakunywa so mimi juu ya venye hiyo ku mix Ah, uh, yeye yeah, think hakuwa na kunywa sana. Because mimi after after nimepiga hiyo yangu, mi nilizima kwa ki, nililala kwa kiti. After nimelala kwa kiti, ile nasinzia nimeacha hawa. Sasa hapi sasa hizi rafi? Rafi 4 4 4 3 4 4. asubuhi. Yes. Okay. Sasa mimi nimesinzia wapi hapo? Ile tu na unajiekelea tu kwa kiti. Kando yangu ni faith kuna msichana mwingine. Okay, kando yangu ni faith oh nadhani niko nyumbani pole <laughs> so kando yangu ni faith uh, kazi yake kazi yake mwingine eh, driver wangu Chris ako amekadia kiti hapo juu na Jeff ako hapa kando so Jeff hata anajifunza mugidi hapo ana he's really enjoying me nime, mimi nimelala nilishtukia na tapio tapio foto foto nani mwenye ni tap it's faith mutano mm. faith mutano was supposed to do deliveries in the morning she kept on telling me that even time to kwa club actually the reason is that ni tokanga mpema sana ni juu ya hivyo ni juu anafaa kwenda kufanya deliveries so that's the reason is that we couldn't have tukitoka club hatukwambiana twende tuendeleze sherehe ni twende ni waike juu ana find akafanya deliveries kesho so ana ni tap na amka napata a, a green up kwa simu green up ina maanisha bolt asha itisha bolt anataka kwenda nyumbani. Nikamwambia Faith, "Sasa unaona ndio ameniamsha. Eh Faith, eh siwezi ruhusu, siwezi kubali ujipeleke na ni mimi mwenye niliwaleta na huku eh, our initial deal ilikuwa mimi niwapeleke wapi kwa nyumba. Then tena timuinkai cost nyingine ya Uber hapana, let me take you." So, I walked out with them. The three ladies. Bado mmoja Jeff kwa nyumba. Nime, sasa hapo ndo nimemwacha kwa anacheza mugidi anajibamba he is happy he is okay. having fun my driver is smoking shisha my cousin is playing guitar for Jeff Jeff is trying to sing mugidi because ni wale vijana ni wa kikuyu but ni ni mtu uptown so hajui hata kikuyu vizuri so anajaribu kuimba hata mugidi anajaribu hata kukumbuka kaka moja word moja ya mugidi mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. so he is really happy he is really having fun ndio mimi huyu nikapeleka wasichana baada ya kupeleka wasichana nikajiambia 
masawe kama nilivyokuambia tukio kwa klabu mimi sikukula wengine wakikula nikasema acha niende pale Lumumba drive juni Lumumba after nimeingia park university kuweka wasichana niliweka in like 5 minutes at most so nilitoka kwa nyumba kitu 447 haya nikatoka nikaenda nikawaeka by 452 or four something nilikuwa nilikuwa nishafika kwa hiyo nyumba yao kwa gate nikawa drop na mimi nika, nikaendelea nikaenda pale pale ito Lumumba drive ninunue sausages na mandazi jumi ni konjaa ndio niende ni kule kwa nyumba uh-huh. wanisikia masaa niende ni kule na tukule na wale wengine wenye wako kwa nyumba wenye walisema pia wako nja uh-huh. so penye nilipark hivi Lumumba drive where i parked I parked it around call it 5 maybe 5 something uh-huh. the time that I can't you know uh I think I was quite high that day because I slept immediately where I parked I slept nilizima na nililala niliamsha na jua masawe jua inachoma gari kwa kio hiyo ndio niliniamsha naamka so I know I know it's quite funny 9 in the morning I know it's quite funny hiyo kitu nikikwambia hivyo but that's my trend mimi kuna watu wengine wakilewa mimi uimba nasema kuna wengine wakilewa wanatoa nguo kuna wengine wakilewa wanalala mimi i am a sleepy head my friends know that wengine hawezi jua but marafiki wangu wote wanajua so i slept nilijisikia saa tatu. kuamka after nimejisikia na nijua ilikuwa inanichoma ndio mimi huyu ina face bado uko na gari nishawa drop masaa okay, okay. niliwa drop mapema kule 5 uh-huh. nilishawaeka uh-huh. so I slept kwa gari na nilikuwa nakuja kununua mandazi na sausages nipeleke kwa nyumba kwa hoteli iko tu hapo ni si mara ngapi kwanza nimenunua hapo so nimezima before hata nitoke nimeamsha na juu kichwa magari yangu ndo mimi huyu sasa napata gari hata bado iko on ina guruma mata iko on nikasema he hii ni ile unasikia anga wako of shame hizi toka kwanza kununua mandazi saa hizi na najulikana gia hata sikugurumisha jilikuwa ina guruma nikaenda kwa nyumba but nikienda nilichukua simu yangu ilikuwa imeanguka hapa kumaanisha nilikuwa nimesinzia maybe hata nilikuwa nimeshika kwa mkono ilikuwa imeanguka kwa flow the only thing i checked ilikuwa missed calls ilikuwa na missed calls mingi ikiwemo za wale wenye walikuwa kwa nyumba kazi yangu na driver yangu haya nikiingia kwa redu department sasa hapa narudi kitu ni 9:05 nikifika hapo redu ndo mimi huyu naona askari huko maskari wengi wako nje kwa mlango Okay, akili yangu inaniuliza mm, askari wanafanya nini huku? So, mimi naenda hata na napiga taa hivi ati niingie sasa kwa, kwa gate, main gate. Nataremsha kio kuna askari walikuwa hapo. Na nawajukia na uliza haya. Afande nimesema mtushikie kwetu leo. Unasikia? Ile on a personal level, mimi okay unapatanga watu, maybe kuko na jina, mwingine naye kwa kwa sheria, uh, kuna venye mnaweza you can just say a word to each other takaa siku salimiana so niliwajokea hivyo wakacheka mimi naona sijui hata niko naendelea then soja hapo nifungulia gate ya kuingia elewa sasa hizi ni kitu 9:05 yeah akatoka nje kuja kuniongelesha ananiambia hey bosi lazima uandike nikamuuliza niandike nini yani unataka kuwa simu nijui akaniambia pana kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor sasa tunaandika mtu yote mwenye anaingia na mwenye anatoka He kusikia hivyo nikamwambia sawa ninaandika sasa hizi nileteka karatasi niandi akafungua gate nikaingia hapo akafunga akaniletea book i wrote my name and the time yenye nimeingia kwa apartment nikasema juu mimi na parking first floor sana acha nisipark first floor nione ni nani mwenye huyo amejengusha kutoka 12th floor redwood mimi sijakaa miezi hiyo apartment sijakaa miezi imepita miezi tatu hiyo wakati sasa we are talking of feb kufikia feb siko nimekaa miezi tatu so i i don't even know anyone in that whole apartment an apartment ni kuna watu over mia kitu because ni apartment kuna privacy sana juu hata floor yangu mimi ni 10th floor sije yona hata ni ba yangu sije toka nje napatana na neighbor wangu na kuna nyumba nane hiyo floor so unapata Ah uh, nimeambiwa kuna mtu amejiangusha kutoka 12th floor. Na ishi 10th floor ama wika from 12th floor. How is that? Does that make sense? What? Unasema kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor. Sasa yeye anakiatea. Yeye anambiwa na na soja watch. Soja? Yes. Na wewe unaishi 10th floor. Yes. Mbona sielewi hapo? Sasa unaona yeye ameniambia. Okay. Yeye ameniambia kama venye nimemuuliza. 
ni mbona unakataa niingie sio yeye ndo yeye hata ndo mimi sijamuuliza ni flow gani yeye ndo amerusha mdomo kuniambia kuna mtu amejirusha kutoka 12th floor okay. mm-hmm. so mimi nikaingia so unaona already kuambiwa tao ukiingia kwa nyumba kulikuwa na kina nani siko nimeingia kwanza sasa hivi mm-hmm. naelekea kwa nyumba mm-hmm. nikaenda nikapark pale hivyo chini after nimepark mwili mwili ilikuwa mahali hapa hivi unaona mahali kama pale na mimi nimepark hapa so nashuka ndo niende gate iko pale so kuna pila there, there are pillars za buildings zenye watu kupaka mm. so unaona tu kichwa somewhere ya hapa hivi pata huku kando kuna nyama nyama zimetapaka mm-hmm. unanipata so i can assure you the pillar imenizuia kuona hata hata the body itself naona tu nywele kidogo hapa tu yenye kichwa imetokea somewhere ya hapo so mimi natembea na una nyama nyama zimetapaka i can assure you hata sikuweza kuangalia hiyo mwili mimi naogopa sana. In fact mwili yenye tu nishaingia kuona hata kwa moja ni nyanyangu toka nizaliwe. Mm-hmm. Sasa ndio mimi huyu naangalia si kuiangalia hivi and even the CCTV footage can show. I held my head like this hadi naangalia unaona ile unachungulia hutaki kuona. Yes you are anxious kuona but hutaki kuona. Na one thing ni nataka uelewe ni nishaambiwa pale mtu amejitupa kutoka 12th floor. At least hata ninge jioni 10th floor ningekuwa ninajua huyu mtu wa floor yetuacha nione ni nani inaweza kuwa ni nani maybe tushaipatana kwa lift. Sasa mimi sijui mtu yote but nishaambiwa mtu. Sasa the only thing I saw kwa hiyo mwili I can assure you niliona kichwa imetokana imetokana hii part. Then nikaona mtu hana hana suruali so I, I just held my head nikiendaga juicy kitu na is I couldn't have stared at it mimi sijaiweza kuangalia hata nipate gari zimepata accident kwa barabara sijaiweza kusimama ati niangalie ati watu wenye wameumia siezi provided na una damu or anything okay. I fear yeah, yeah. I went mm-hmm. to the house mm-hmm. but nikipita hapo askari nao wamekalia Land Rover yao ready to correct nini hii mwili sasa waende nayo so mi nikaenda kwa nyumba but nikipita hapo nikajishika kichwa yani before niende kwa 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 gate nikasema oh god what the hell why should a person do this to themselves unaona venye yani ah askari wako na reaction yangu wakabaki wakicheka so nikaenda kwa nyumba kwenda kwa nyumba nikafungua mlango nikaingia kufungua tu hivi kazini yangu na driver yangu wali waligutuka kwa kiti wote wawili hivi wanaangalia kwa mlango wamelala kwa kiti driver amelala hapa kazi yangu the, the city is a nail set so the cousin is here the driver is here so wanagutuka wanaangalia kwa mlango nikafunga mlango nikaanzia kuwapelea story wapi hapo wewe uko chini hebu endeni muone kuna mtu mwenye amejiangusha lakini mimi nashuku ameangushwa these are the exact what i told them mm-hmm. nashuku ametupwa na au manager wanaishingi huku juu sababu hana trouser maybe amepata kwa demi ya wenyewe mm-hmm amepata na demia yenyewe sasa akatupwa unanipata juu nimeambiwa umetupwa toka 12th floor hawa nao wanaona kama ni mjinga nawaambia i am very serious naizaje wachezea na kifo yani hawaniamini nikiwaambi hivyo so nikaona hapo hivyo kuna gedheri yenye wame wamekaanga elewa pia walisema wako nja so kuna gedheri nilikuwa nimeleta na mamangu kuna gedheri anyway sasa hizi unajua tunaongelea saa tatu wao wao unajoa hawakuwa na kunywa. Yeah, wao hawakuwa na kunywa. Okay. Wao wakiingia mm-hmm. kwa club walichukua Del Monte. So this is my driver. So she expect a kunywa. Na mimi nimekunywa. So wow, there was a reason for them to do the get there. Jua hawajakunywa. So naona walitengeneza na wakakula wamebakisha. It's okay, so you don't need to So mm-hmm. I ain't defending them. Mm-hmm. I just told them eh, ni pe wakani ni wamie get there. So akienda kuniwamia driver wangu, driver wangu ni chef alikuwa na amesoma hizo vitu basi kwa sakazi so yeye ndo at this pika. point umeingia kazini yako driver wako yes. ni mtu wangu sasa hapa ndo penye nilimuulizia after ni, unaona kwanza mimi nimepeana story mm. nimeingia na mshangao ya kenye nimepata hiyo mm. ndo story yenye napeana so after nimefik after sasa nimewaambia hivyo na nimeona wao hawaamini nikamwambia ni kege there ni kule je niko nja then niende nilale then I, come, come, I just asked a general question eh na kijana kwa wapi sasa kijana ni je mm. alipata akasema alilewa sana akaenda kulala oh that's okay mm-hmm. amelala wapi of course amelala guest room mm-hmm. so mimi sikushindania na kitu kingine so nikikula niki ile gedheri na kula nikiogopa nikiwaambia msinikumbushe hiki kitu yenye nimewaambia nimepata chini 
ili niweze kumalize in fact siku za kukula nikaipeleka kwa sink then nikaenda kulala nikienda kulala nikaacha nimeambia hawa kazi yangu na driver yangu na mniamshe saa sita na fuck na studio I was supposed to go for a studio at a studio called Studio 56 mm-hmm. at 12 noon. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda sasa naenda kulala kitu saa saa 4. Saa 4 ya ya mchana sasa. In fact, I even called I called my girlfriend kumwambia Kenya nimepata saa nikiwa kwa bed before nilale. I called her and told her Kenya nimepata huko chini. So I slept. Mimi nikalala kulala masawe nimelala nimejisikia 14 14 elewa nimeangalia saa manake nilikuwa nafaa kwenda studio saa sita so the first thing ile niliangalia ni ukiamka unamkanga hey huenda nimechelewa nikaangalia naona ni saa 8 na dakika 14 kwa hivyo nimelala over 4 hours so nikavaa nika nikaona ah stamika kwenda studio acha tu ni jibu jibu hizi calls messages kwa kitanda tu karibu ifike 3 hapo nikashawa After kushawa nikavaa mavazi yangu iko kwa room yangu hiyo bedroom yangu master bedroom so viatu maishura iko kwa bedroom ya wageni walipata so after nimevaa nikaingia kwa hii room nyingine ili nichukue kiatu nikachukua viatu zenye nafaa nivae on other days i put the shoes down i sit on the guest room's bed and put them on juzi na kuanga safi natoka nikitoka Sasa tunaenda kuvalia kwa mlango. Sasa this day it was a special day because after picking the shoes I just saw the the bed is not made. So I knew the the guy is up. So let me just go to the sitting room and welcome him. And know about my unaona the hospitality ya mgeni wako mwenye ajali lala kwako tena. Unanipata nimuulize eh hey, umelalaje huku kwetu? Mhm. Unanipata na ni mwana. Nikaenda sitting room nikapata driver wangu na kazi yangu. Nikawapata hapo siti ndio nikauliza kwani mliacha kijana aende na kuna kazi tunaenda kufanya. Wanisikia? The same same what? Jamaa kaniambia my driver is the one who said mi fatu na shuku ukijana alienda asubuhi mapema sana. Na kazi yangu akarusha mdomo akasema no haizi kwa alienda asubuhi mapema sana na mimi nimecheza gita hadi 8 nikingoja fatu. Wote fursa kuweza kuzungumza na mama Kejef. Sina shida. Ushawahi kuzungumzia? Mamangu alipigia Samido. Mm-hmm. akawa akamuomba waturuhusu twende mazishi mm-hmm. waturuhusu twende tujuane na familia mm-hmm. manake hiyo mambo tayari imetokea online hiyo wakati so mama kapigia samido akamwambia please juu leo kifo inaonekana huku na kesho ni kwetu na hao watu walikuwa marafiki kwa nini muombe ruhusa kwenda mazishi sababu mm-hmm. na tayari bado ilikuwa kwa media unaelewa mm-hmm. toka kwa police station mm-hmm. they were blocking me from seeing the family okay Are you getting me? Wewe mwenyewe baada ya haya yote ambayo yanaendelea, ushawahi chukua simu yako kainua ukampigia mama. Mama ke Jeff. Hata sina namba ya mama Jeff, but what I can say is yeah. Lakini kuipata ni rahisi, maana yake ni kazi yake sana ndio. Yeah, so getting the number yes. will not be difficult. I know it, it's not going to be difficult. Mama, pole. But uh, what I can say is eh mm-hmm. uh, Masawe, ile ile uchungu yenye nimepitishwa hao watu to them was a make decision they have already made their mind that i killed their son so believe me or not masawe it's very hard for me i wish acha hiyo simu yenye unapiga i wish ni zile shoes zenye zinafanya ngo inakuwa ni surprise mama jeff akae hapo niongee na yeye na tuangaliane kwa macho nimwambie kenya na mwambie nimwambie hadithi yangu na niangalia kiona na mdanganya aseme ni sawa basi mimi niliyo mtoto wake lakini sijaipata hiyo chance na sijaipata hizo guts za kupigia maana yake history ilienda sana ilienda na ikaenda zaidi ati nasemekana mimi nimeua mtoto wao so imeacha kuonekana ile side nzuri ya nilitaka kusaidia mtoto wako kumpatia kazi sasa inaonekana mimi ni kama mimi ni muuaji so kusema ukweli sijaipata hata mimi mwenyewe sijapata wakati wa kuheal niweze kumpigia mama je ndio tuweze kuzungumza maana yake saa hizi pia yeye bado najua yuko na machungu na makali yenye anajiambia na ama anafikiria mimi niliyo mtoto wake okay yes